Hi everybody, this is Titi Readings and hi Scorpio. Let's see what messages are going to show up for you guys. In case this reading resonates with you, Scorpio, there will be a link in the description box to the extended. And also you can have a look at your yearly predictions in the description box below. So we have here the Fool card, the World card and the Three of Wands. This is straight up an energy of um, endings and new beginnings. Something that you are moving towards, something that you're creating here. The world card and the fool card also represent um, some sort of accomplishment okay some new beginning it's like with the fool and the world card you're taking you're you're taking a chance with something new here um really really like this energy but let's have a look two of coins you may even have a decision to make scorpio so interesting energies are showing up for you today Let's see. We have the hangman. Five of swords. Four of coins. The judgment. King of wands reverse and five of coins yes so okay this is something that you're leaving behind some of you were a part of a toxic situation um it does look like maybe there were also financial issues somewhere it's it's looking like you dealt with a person who was talking more than they were doing and there were some sort of mind games being played okay you're in that energy of pausing and reflecting and it, it's like you've realized that there's someone here who's not for you um, it's like something here felt like you know the other person was just taking 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 from you um, energetically speaking okay and you just ended up feeling very drained and exhausted okay some of you may have felt like this is a situation this is a dead-end situation anyway <clears throat> I'm, I'm hearing traveling or saving money to travel so some of you could be traveling or you could be you could be saving money to travel okay You have the seven of cups here options in love some of you are feeling confused these days or there's some sort of confusion here surrounding a love situation maybe um the wheel of fortune five of wands what you can expect two of cups give me one more chariot what's the overall outcome for scorpio the ten of coins and then this is your person's energy that I'm going to have a look at after I'm done reading the rest of your cards. Bottom of the deck is the Empress with the Page of Wands. So I see you in a very abundant energy. You're attracting wealth, money, stability into your life. There's also communication coming your way, but whoever's coming your way, do you feel like they're up to par or what they got to offer is up to par? Because it looks like you're into them, but you're confused, okay? The Empress really wants to show up in your reading, so I'm going to take that. All right, let's, um, let's clarify. And don't worry, after this, I'm going to give you your Oracle messages as well. Six of Pentacles to the High Priestess. I feel like some of you decided to walk away from a situation where there were there was lack of balance and I feel like intuitively you could pick up on you know 
the energy of something is up because you're getting the five of wands the seven of swords here and then you're getting the five of wands here as well so there's either that there was this energy of resistance competition fighting arguments somewhere or simply the energy was just like mm, you felt like no this is like breadcrumbing energy or this is not what i deserve okay um, and on top of that, I keep getting an energy of someone trying to play mind games with you, Scorpio. Um, but it's like, you know, this is, this is like, you know, we're not in, we're not sitting in the 1990s or I don't know, whatever. We, you know, everybody recognizes what people are doing. And, we, you know, of course, people also recognize what people were doing back then. I don't know, because I was not born in 1990, but... I feel like people were much simple back then than they are now, you know, because of all the TikTok and Instagram stuff and all the relationship advice, all that I don't need nobody, you know, all that. Um, someone was playing mind games and you caught them. You caught them right there. Eight of Pentacles. A lot of you in the past, I feel like you decided to shift your focus on your work, on your sense of stability. Um, you you could be saving money. There are a couple of cards that have flipped. Not really a couple, quite a lot. Tell me more about this. The Death card. Um, a lot of signs are getting the death card in these set of readings i really feel like scorpio you decided to detach from something and focus on other things in your life this person is now seeing the cold side of you whoever this is and the reason for that is you may have felt like you didn't really deserve what you were getting and um there's just someone you felt like they were all talk and they were not really doing much you know Six of Swords Reverse, Two of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. You might have had a choice between two different people in the past, but to me it just looks like the energy was lingering. This person did not have much to offer to you and you were always skeptical about what was going on until you made a decision to leave. But your challenge here is to open up to love again because you're getting the seven of cups. So there are options in love or there's definitely love coming your way, but you're seeming to get confused. Look at that. It's, it's like, yeah, you're confused because of your past experiences. You don't know if you're going to end up being in the same situation with the queen of swords here. You're detaching and thinking more practically and logically. Okay. Um, when it comes to love, you're hesitating to open up to love. And you just like, whether that be friendships or love, nobody has time to focus on things where people are playing mind games and we have to like, I don't know, there's that constant back and forth with someone. Um, you're tired of waiting, hoping, wishing, and it's like, I'm done with this. But a part of your challenge here is to take things slow. Take things one day at a time, Scorpio. Don't be so hard on yourself. Um, because with the death and the eight of pentacles, you're like, okay, I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to cut it off. But the knight of pentacle, you know, that's the energy of slow paced forward movement. For some of you, you also have to be... Um, 
I feel like you have to allow things to come to you right now rather than being in the doing, doing, doing mode, you know? Yeah, your advice here is to surrender with the Ten of Cups. Maybe spend some more time with your family, with your loved ones, with your kids or doing things that you love because Ten of Cups is, is an energy of feeling whole and it's, it's family. It's what we all crave, you know, it's feeling at home with someone or just like this energy of emotional fulfillment with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, I feel like more so than this being your advice, this is like a confirmation that what you're going through is not permanent, specifically if this is something tough and heavy to deal with. The Ten of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune is change and change for the better. The Wheel of Fortune is all about changes because the wheel is ever turning. It's never in the same position. So I am telling you, Ten of Cups can also talk about a relationship, Nine of Cups. Yeah, this is about your, you know, your own happiness and finding fulfillment at a soul level doing things that make you happy because there in the past you were on the giving end okay um five of wands seven of swords and the chariot what you don't see coming or what you can expect there is someone who broke your heart there is someone who's going to be back or try to come back in your life it is because of mercury retrograde I do feel like Scorpio, some of you were in a long distance relationship with someone. You might even have a friend who's going to try to come back in your life. There's this energy of toxic friendship as well. Um, with the justice card, it's like someone's trying to make it up to you or trying to fix things. But with the three of swords attached to it, this is someone you're avoiding. What's the justice? Yeah, seven of swords, seven of swords, seven of swords. Look at that, five of wands, five of wands. So there were lies, deception. It's like there was someone here who was making you fight for their attention and you gave up. The thing here with the chariot is that this person's very determined to come back towards you. You're moving on though. You're moving on. And this is like chasing what makes you happy rather than going backwards. This is that energy. This person was definitely up to something and I'm telling you they're showing up again in your future energy. I'm hearing I lost a real one. I feel like you, because you're, you're pulling back, they feel like they lost a real one because yes, you really did love them. Because it was, it's like it was, it's like a cycle. It was like a cycle for you. you. You kept feeling like, okay, I'm. this is where I started and this is where I'm at. Your future energy is the Page of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Temperance. I am telling you, Scorpio, and a lot of signs as a collective, this is a message that's coming up for a lot of different people. There are new beginnings in front of you. The temperance card is all about being patient and temperance is also what's a part of our destiny and so is the Wheel of Fortune. Ace of Pentacles is where it starts and I always say on my channel about the Ace of Pentacles that this is something that has the potential of growth. Uh, with the ten, And it's going from Ace up until the Ten of Pentacles and I am telling you, Scorpio, first of all, your money is looking really good. There could be an increase in your money or some sort of cash bonus at work or something like that. And secondly, if there is a, a person coming towards you, a new person, not someone from the past, things can work between you and this new person, not with the past person, okay? Um, so this is your past person's energy. The Three of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the seven of wands yes uh so yeah you know look at this scorpio this person feels like they've lost you look at look at this card there's a lot of sorrow and this energy of regret and remorse here that you know this person you were in a relationship with or you wanted marriage it does look like this person's feeling sad they really feel like they lost you and i feel like they did they did they sure did
this person i'm telling you scorpio they feel like they messed up they feel like they messed up on a real one let's have a look at your oracle messages a sec all right so scorpio um your person's feelings for you their view of you actions they plan on taking where is it going and your advice and then if there is a new person coming towards you what is their energy like and where is it going with a new person i'm gonna have a look at your future love energies or where is this headed towards and then what's your advice when it comes to love okay bottom of the deck is the eight of cups so walking away you're walking away in the extended i'm going to continue the read also give you your blessings challenges and your self-love message so do have a look it will be linked below now let's see what is your um guided message We have here angel of love there's there's just a lot of focus on love here for you scorpio we have man holding a heart look at that someone wants to express okay there could be a four to five year age gap between you two or it could also be nine years but i'm getting four to five years okay um attachment hostilities oh bottom of the deck is action i am telling you scorpio that you're being told here to let go of what's holding you back the hostility and the attachment card is like negative attachments to the past things or situations in general that are holding you back people that are holding you back and this is not just love related this is generally sometimes there are certain things certain patterns even sometimes th there are certain habits of our own that are holding us back from reaching our potential so this is like something you need to cut out whatever's holding you back whatever makes you feel confined or it's like because your reading started off with the fool card if you remember and the fool card is all about taking a chance with something you know opening up to a new beginning opening up to a new start You know, this is really not about going backwards, Scorpio. Nope. This is not about going backwards. So that's about it, Scorpio. Those were the messages that showed up for you. I hope that you were open to receive these messages and I hope that you got something out of the reading. The extended is going to be linked in the description box below. If you would like, you can have a look at it and I'll see you guys next time.